Want to make a podcast? Spotify's got a platform that lets you make one super easily, then distribute it everywhere and even earn money. All in one place for free. It's called Spotify for Podcasters, and here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer, so no matter what your setup is like, you can start creating today. Then, you can distribute your podcast to Spotify and everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also available on Spotify, and when you want to take conversations with your fans at the next level, Q&A and polls are the best way to get them talking. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. And best of all, it's totally free with no catch. Ever since I discovered Spotify for Podcasters, my dream of creating a podcast was made easy. I highly recommend you give it a try. Download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started today. Hello, my friends. Welcome to a new podcast episode. I am so excited for today's episode because it's a topic that is not talked about that much. So I'm super excited to record and get this message out to you. And like I said, it's a topic that's not talked about that much, but if it is, it's talked about in the way that I'm not about to talk about it. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hope this changes your perspective or I hope maybe it just puts a new idea in your head. And not everyone is going to agree with this. And in fact, probably most people are going to disagree with it, but that's okay because we all have different opinions and we all have different lifestyles. And also, I just want to make a disclaimer that I do not judge and will not be judging anybody based on their choices or the feedback that I get from this podcast episode. So with that being said, let's jump right into today's episode. So today we're going to be talking about the drinking culture, alcohol in general, and the party scene, all kinds of that stuff. So as most of you know, I am in college, I'm in my junior year, and I just turned 21. So Also, as most of you know, I do not drink, and I have not had a sip of alcohol in almost two years now, I think, or like a year and a half. So, with that being said, the first thing going through your mind, I know, of course, is probably, have you drank before? You're in college, like, what's that like? Of course I have, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys and say I haven't, but doing so, I realized 100% it's not for me. I don't like it. I don't like anything about it. I don't like the way it makes you feel, the way, like, the scene it brings upon. Nothing about it is to my liking. A funny story for you guys, actually. So, I did just turn 21. My birthday was a couple weeks ago. And on my 21st birthday, I did not drink. And I honestly don't know of any other 21-year-old that does not, like, all, does not, what's the word? Does not revolve their whole 21st birthday around alcohol and getting drunk. Um, On my 21st birthday, I woke up super early, went to the beach for sunrise, hung out there, and just had a very chill day. And honestly, it was such a good day, but I don't know. When you're not involved in in those kinds of things, or you're not doing the things that everyone else your age do, does, I mean, When you're not doing the things that everyone else your age does, it does make you feel lonely at times and you kind of question like your own actions and beliefs and like decisions. But at the end of the day, I know that it's not for me. I know it's not something I like to do. And at the end of the day, I am happier hanging out with one or two people who also share the same belief as me and don't want to go get drunk on their 21st birthday or in the middle of the week. For me, what the actual, like, tipping point was of, like, okay, this is something that I don't want to consume anymore, this is something that I don't want to do, was when I started to discover, like, spirituality and, like, started having a spiritual awakening and started getting into all of those things. Because during all that, I learned that alcohol is a very, very, very low vibrational thing. So, there's a scale of vibrations, um, of course, whole fruit and vegetables, organic, are at the top, like, high vibrations are at the top of that because they come from nature. They're organic. They don't have chemicals in them. Alcohol is toxins. So if you are putting toxins into your body, you are lowering your vibration. And when you have those low vibrational things in you, it is going to cause you to have a lower vibration and you are going to attract low vibrational things, people, and experiences into your life. Now think about it. When you drink, when you're out, when you get drunk with your friends, 
bad things might happen. And that's because low vibrational things are being attracted to you because you have a low vibrational thing in your body. So for me, it was when I kind of learned that and dissected it, thought about it. That was my tipping point. I was like, wow, I do so much every day to be the healthiest, only put good things in my body, to have a super high vibration. Like I try to be positive all the time, do all these things to make sure that I'm vibrating at a high level. Why would I put something so low in vibrations and something that is literally toxins into my body to disrupt all of that? Also, I'm not the kind of person who likes to go out in the first place. I mean, even like if my friends are going out, sometimes I'll honestly choose to stay home and get a good night's sleep so I can wake up early the next morning and do something. But that's just me. And I mean, a lot of people will argue that that's not a good lifestyle because some people just don't agree with it or just don't see like how doing something like that could make you happy. But that's just me. And honestly, if you can relate to that, let's be best friends because I need more friends that don't like to go out at night. But that brings me to the topic of what do you do if you enjoy going out at night, but there's alcohol involved or your friends are drinking or what do you do if you enjoy going out at night, but you don't want to drink anymore? The simple answer is go out and have fun. You can still go out with people who are going to drink or you can still go out to those situations where there's alcohol, but you don't have to drink it yourself. I mean, it's very easy to make the conscious choice to say, I don't need this in my body or I don't want to put that in my body. I can have fun and I can be me without that. The way I see it, though, is you can also go out at night and put yourself in situations where those things are not. Because for me personally, if I'm going to go out, I would much rather choose to go out with people who aren't drinking or to a situation where alcohol isn't involved because being around it just still kind of gives off the bad vibe to me. But again, that's just me. And I also want to make the disclaimer that I do not think I'm better than anyone else or think that my lifestyle is better. Absolutely not. I know that everyone has different choices and everything works better for everyone else. So whatever makes you happy and whatever you know works for you, then I praise you for it 100%. And I'm so glad that you found what makes you happy. But if you are thinking of maybe you want to stop drinking, Maybe the first easiest step is to stop putting yourself in situations where there is alcohol. Because if you are trying to make that transition and you are in a situation where your friends are out and there is, it might tempt you to drink again. And that also leads me to the next thing. So on Instagram, I put a little question poll and asked you guys to ask me any questions that you might have about this topic. So let's go ahead and go through some of those. Okay, so the first question that I have, it says, do your friends drink? And how do you find like-minded people, vegan, nature, etc.? So, of course, I have friends that drink. And those are the friends that I just choose to not hang out with at night. Because, like I said, I'm not going to go into a situation where there is alcohol involved because I just don't like the vibe that it gives off. So I would much rather choose to either stay home or go out with people who aren't going to be drinking. But, of course, I also have friends who share the same beliefs as me, friends who don't drink, friends who don't like to drink, and friends who don't really like going out at night. And those are the friends that I have the most fun with because when you find people who are like you on the inside, it's like you're hanging out with yourself, and that's honestly the best feeling because you don't have to worry about, like, oh, if I don't drink, this person might not like me. No. If anyone doesn't like you because you don't drink, then that person's not your real friend. Your real friends are the people who like you for you. So the part of the question that says, how do you find like-minded people, vegan nature, etc., that all comes from your vibration because like attracts like. So when you are vibrating at your true highest self and you're vibrating at your vegan self, your self that loves nature, your self that's outside of nature, people who are just like you are going to be attracted to you. They're going to find you. The universe is going to pair you with those people. That's the kind of thing that you have to just leave it up to the universe and you just have to trust and not worry because... When you're you and you're focused on being you and making sure you're happy and you feel good, everything will fall into place and work out for you perfectly. So the next question that we have, I kind of already answered it, but we'll go over it again. It says, do you drink or have you thought about drinking? So of course I have, and I don't think about it anymore, honestly. I, it never crosses my mind because I just know how good I feel like inside from not doing it and the thought of putting that into my body again or doing it like I just don't want to ever feel like how gross and how bad it can make you feel I know most of you listening to this right now you know how it feels and so just think about that feeling right now and think about how you feel when you eat healthy 
when you work out, when you get out in the sun, when you do the things that your soul actually craves and that your soul actually loves, think about how good you feel when you do those things. And now let me ask you a question. Why don't you do those things more often? Because when you do the things that fuel your soul, you're raising your vibration so high because you are being your true self and everything will flow into place for you. So that's just something to think about. And then the last question, I only got three questions, three responses from my little question box is, what made you decide not to drink? And I kind of already went over this one also, but it was kind of just like realizing how bad I felt or just like not feeling productive or feeling gross or just like also feeling like you're hanging out with the wrong crowd like if you're going and doing things that don't feel right and then the people you're with don't feel right listen to that gut feeling because it's not right I mean your gut and your soul knows what's right what's good for you and then like I was saying before just the whole concept of spirituality and how it raises your vibration when you like do good and eat good and all that kind of stuff and If putting toxins in your body is going to lower your vibration, that's something that I just don't want to partake in. And then just the whole culture of drinking and the whole party culture and the party scene in the U.S., I mean, I'm not a fan of it, especially like college. My college, I am kind of lucky because it's not a typical college, so I would say there's a lot of students who don't partake in those kinds of things or maybe I just don't know about it but I would say that it's definitely not nearly as close to how normal colleges are or how like a college party would be like I mean I've never even been to one so I wouldn't fully know but I know I've seen videos and pictures from other people at other colleges and I just know that I don't know that is just it blows my mind how like I feel like people know that they don't even like to drink or people will get drunk and then they'll be like, oh, I'm never going to drink again. And then they end up doing it. And what blows my mind is I feel like if these people like maybe lived in a place where there was more nature, had people in their lives who really like showed them that there's more to life than just getting drunk on a Friday and Saturday night, then all of these people would like not to partake in these things that are like actually destroying them inside. And I don't know. That's why I just hope that this message gets out and reaches the right people and just really makes them realize that there is so much more to life. Like you have so much potential. And think about it this way. What if you spent those Friday and Saturday nights working on that business idea or inspiring someone or hanging out with those friends that you've always wanted to hang out with to learn from them? Maybe people that are more successful than you or maybe people that you just know are genuinely good people and you just hang out with these people and spend genuine time with them and have conversations or work on something together and just like actually get to know someone I think we all have something to learn and I definitely need to branch out more and like go out at night with people who do things that I like to do like go out to the beach at night or get dinner and have conversations with people but no one's perfect and we're all learning but I hope that this message reaches the right people and I hope I can change your perspective a little bit or help show you that there's more to life And if you have any other questions or need advice or help, my DMs are always open. My Instagram is I am Julia Hawkins. I recently changed it, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for listening. Message me, like I just said, and I hope you have a beautiful day and go drink some water because water is the absolute best thing that you can drink. Okay. Bye guys.